Alrighty, everyone, welcome to the finale of DSP versus the Internet for this week. I hope you've enjoyed episode 86. It's been good variety. Let's watch the final clips for the week out of the submissions tier playlist. Randomized. Here we go. And now, poetry by Gary. Alright. <clears throat> yeah. Nigga, 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 nigga. <laughs> All right, no, that was good. That got me. That totally got me. <laughs> that totally got me, dude. That was funny as shit. Obviously, for YouTube purposes, I can't keep playing it. If this was just on kick, I could keep playing it. But for YouTube, I can't keep playing it. But dude, that was funny as shit. Just the the, the, four, the, the, the 10 seconds of it. <laughs> that got me good. I wasn't expecting that. All right, let's continue. Pony cartoons, yay! Oh, uh, well, this is timely because I'm playing Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. On to last episode of Dragon Ball. Oh, what's wrong with his face? Oh my God, so and... dude, they have fa this is like Ren and Stimpy faces, right? Like the faces they used to use the characters on Ren and Stimpy. Look at that. C Christian Stewart must fight. I hope they don't hit each other too hard. Yeah. We're really in for it now, Gohan. Oh, uh, 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 shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Virginia. Hanging out with little boys in spandex, I see. Yes. I love you, Vagina, but you can't be doing that. Come on. There's no escaping, Banana. <laughs> When I'm through with you, you'll have to be sitting down like a girl. Hoi -ho -ho -ho. And Drew saying, always sprinkles when he tinkles. Ugh. He's right, you know. <gasps> yeah, Daddy. You yeah, faggot. Uh, yes. <laughs> Who are you supposed to be? Check a carrot cake. I am real Super Saiyan. Uh, super pooper scoopers are just legend. You'll see, Freezy Pop. I'm stronger than an ant. <laughs> Piccolo is really a pickle. <laughs> and if an ant was this big. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're just fucking with me. Why is he have, is a, is a Pepsi symbol on his back? I just noticed. He has like Pepsi branding on his on his gi. When I when I was just a little boy, he he didn't invite me to his birthday party. You monster frisbee! The uh, delicious. Kaka Carmen Electra. Show him what for it mean to be Super Sand Legend. Uh, I'm dead. Freezy <laughs> <laughs> uh, My ears. Uh. Wow, I'm glad that's over. For a second there, I thought that. Oh, wow, I guess it really is. Oh! Uh. Uh. Nineteen episodes later. <laughs> True. Listen, I like Dragon Ball, but Dragon Ball Z is the absolute king of filler content. They'll have entire episodes where nothing happens, just running in circles, right? And they're fucking yelling at each other. It's like a why did the fight take seven episodes? Because they talked for ninety percent of it. Uh Your hair! Uh -huh. What are you, gay? Yeah. <laughs> well, Kaka Krabby Patty, we only have like 50 episodes before Namek explodes. But since you've been a good boy, you can just leave. Go, get out of here. Ah! It's true. He crapped himself. He is super stand lesbian. <laughs> you did it, Goku. Hmm? <laughs> uh, how old was that? 11 years ago. Wow, this is super old. Damn, I didn't realize it was that old. 51 million views. Damn. Damn. Popular, for sure, man.
Well, if you've seen Dragon Ball, you'll laugh at that. There you go. The, the original maker Oni is from Newgrounds. Oh, I used to watch. Yeah, Newgrounds. I used to watch back in the day for sure. That was the me memes before there was like a central place for memes. Everyone would post on, on Newgrounds. Cool. Okay. This week, I'm going to show you how to carve a pumpkin. Nothing says Halloween like a 1,400-pound pumpkin on your porch. Watch out, Doc Johnson. I'm winning this year's Halloween competition. You're watching Moby Mike Pumpkins on YouTube. So in order to carve this thing, we need a chainsaw. But I don't know about these dinky things. You know what we need? One of the giant Darn long right ones, yeah. Power. Don't they use those for logging? This is a Moby it's a Mike logging chainsaw. She's been bored, stroked, ported, polished, shaved the head, running on aviation fuel. This thing makes more power than Travis Pastrana's dirt bike. Let's fire it out. <laughs> careful, careful with that fucking thing. hollow it out though it's not gonna work right it's gonna be full of pumpkin guts making <laughs> a classic jack-o-lantern face <laughs> like 3D, it's like shooting at you. The camera. All the pumpkin guts are hitting the camera. They're already screwed up. You're supposed to have teeth. Didn't do the teeth like he's supposed to. Look at all the water that's squirting out of it. Oh my god, he got covered. Look at him. He's covered in pumpkin. He exploded all over him. Damn, dude. <laughs> that eye is screwed up. He made it way too skinny. Yeah. We are still pouring water. water. The chainsaw. We had a crack in it. We had like five inches of rain. And it all went inside the pumpkin. So there we go, boys. That, I mean, that looks like a professional though. I mean, that looks <laughs> like something you buy in a store. Hey, Jim, that's, that's cool. kind of a small chainsaw there. You know, Mike, I have nothing to prove about my masculinity. You know, it's only you toxic males that have something to prove. What's your issue, Mike? Really? <laughs> True. November 2023, Shafrilla's Productions made a video about which Smash characters have eaten pizza. And it was a really uh, good video. And then... Which Smash characters have canonically smashed? Uh, this is stupid. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this is just really stupid. Do I really want to watch this video? By the way, let me make sure... Oh, it's not in the playlist! It's not in the playlist. YouTube has this, this weird week, fucking thing. You yeah, YouTube has this weird thing if you get to the end of the playlist. It'll grab a random video off YouTube instead of continuing your playlist. So, let's do this. I click. Let's do this. I said, I said, let's do this. There. Okay. The early days of Atlas's Persona series were certainly... We'll watch this because it's short. It's only like three minutes. And then we'll go to the next video. I hate when that happens, when it kicks you out of your playlist. It's fucking dumb. Okay. Hmm. Rather rough around the edges, and I'm not talking about the games themselves, but rather their Western localizations. 
Take the very first game in the series, for example, released in 1996 for the PlayStation, Atlas okay. thought it would be a good idea to try and westernize as much of the game as possible, going All as right. far as to redesign the characters to a more American appearance. The worst affected by this was definitely Masao, or Mark as he was called in the translated version. Over in the West, he was given a baseball cap, changed ethnicity to African American, and had his personality changed to that of a stereotypical hip-hop sort of guy. Huh. Thankfully, these issues were fixed with the enhanced PSP release, albeit a whopping 13 years later. Anyway, moving on to Persona 2, Innocent Sin. This time, the game wasn't even released at all. The Japanese version contained some rather controversial themes, such as the appearance of Hitler as one of the main villains. Hitler is in the game? Wow. I guess you're in hell then, right? Look, precisely my Knights of the Holy Lands, who are aligned with the Twelves, signs of the Zodiac. Yeah, I guess it's supposed to be like hell. Hitler's in hell. And it was speculated that this put Atlas off localizing the title. When asked about this in a much later interview, however, the blame was put on things such as resources and manpower. Thankfully, though, there's a fan translation floating around if you're interested in trying this version of the game. Next up was Persona 2 Eternal Punishment. As hinted in the title, the game was a true sequel to Persona 2 Innocent Sin. But this time, the game actually was released in the West, so everyone outside of Japan only got the second part of this two-part series, which, huh. of course, sucks for everybody who cares about following the story. Unlike the earlier mentioned Persona 1, this localization attempted to keep the Japanese setting intact as much as possible. There was, however, a rather strange case of censorship though, and, well, first let's just see if you can guess how this zombie junkie was censored outside of Japan. Uh, In the Japanese version of the game, this zombie is a straight-up junkie. But elsewhere, okay. the zombie was changed into a junk food junkie. What? Then turned into a zombie. The zombies also make an appearance in Innocent Sin, but as stated, the PS1 version... Do they, do they not understand the concept of horror? Right? Like, there's nothing wrong with that. It was really a drug junkie that became a zombie. That's fine. That's horror. Why did it have to be a junk food junkie? That's just stupid. It wasn't damn. released in the West. The PSP version, on the other hand, was, and it at last uncensored the description. Oh, did shown. you see it? Because it was rated T? Maybe that's what it is. They didn't want to get an M rating or something. The drug use would have given it an M rating. I, I guess I could see that. So the <clears throat> PSP release finally allowed the West to play the controversial, previously unavailable Innocent Sin, and it even uncensored some stuff. Cool, right? Yeah, well, sadly, it censored much, much more than it restored. Remember good old Hitler? Yeah, well, this is what he looks like now. No, ah, what the fuck? Some shades at. What? Hitler's name was simply changed to Führer, and he was given a coat to hide his Nazi uniform. Wow. Are, of course, those sunglasses. This was a change wow. that actually made it in Japan as well, due to the Japanese rating system's rules on using real people in works of fiction. Although, because of the extreme lengths of the censorship, it is thought that it was also done to prepare for the Western release. Remember, Nazi imagery is straight up banned in German versions of games, for example. Ah. And it wasn't just Hitler. The Nazis are a huge part of the game's story, and all instances of swastikas were removed. Huh. Damn, what were they? Why are they? They're, they're the, why were they so into Nazis in this game? I didn't know that at all. I, I never played Persona Two. I only played Persona Three, Four, Five. Damn. Oh, that's it. It's over. <clears throat> that was interesting. I didn't know that they had Hitler in the game. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Pony cartoons, yay! I already saw this. All right. Top five Twitch rival moments. I don't know why anyone in their right mind would fucking be streaming on Twitch, but okay. I don't even know if this is all, but it just it's in my head right now. Oh my god, look at my daddy's mother Africa. Why is the quality so Africa. bad? Look how shitty yeah, this I is. For that. I was, oh, that was so dangerous going for that vertical typhoon because Commando could definitely snipe storm up there from the air. But look at G Con looking really good right here. Not taking any risk. Getting the perfect typhoons in Well, is this seriously the quality that was on Twitch? It's terrible. Fucking choppy as shit. Hailed another typhoon hail. Another yep, ship the shit out of him. Of Commando come in, and this is completely fine. No, the Gets delay! It? Oh my god, this is actually. Oh, he, 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 <gasps> Guard break. He has no meter, though. He, he has no. Oh, he I blew it. Go for a non-unblockable. Go for a cross in this situation. Oh, oh my no. god, he's gonna get no, it. He didn't call corridor. He's gonna get it. Oh my god, he's gonna Oh no. Almost went through. Try to eat the hit with Commando on the shockwave. That's it. Fucked up. We got a two-two situation. It's deuce deuce. They're taking a shitty on a shit on each other, Justin.
I don't get it. What was, what, why was that a top moment? I don't even understand. That was just a, an okay match of Marvel. Well, Lazy Reaper just went for the standard, like, crouching light kick, crouching light kick. Yeah, there's so much game to the opening attack of MBC2, it's crazy. Yeah, and then that's the right thing to do. You kill Cable Mix first. Up. There you go. The Snap, get the assist. Oh, no. Done. War Machine and Iron Man has Reposal Blast, that's not a real anti assist. Yeah. Yeah, I'd argue Magneto does this the best in the whole game, right? Like, assist kill. Yep. Like, snapback assist kill. He just is the easiest one. Yep. I don't get it. What are these moments? These aren't moments. This is standard gameplay that you would expect in Marvel. Seriously, these aren't even moments. Nothing's happening. Just regular gameplay. Why is this exciting? You know, it's hitting. Oh my god. Yo, G Concept smells blood. He can smell the victory. This is five thousand dollars. Oh my god. Yep. Good. Good weight right there. Because if you DAC earlier, Psylocke would definitely have been called right there. Oh my god. Triangle jumps. Spending the hail. Yep, oh, caught. The both, yeah, both. Oh! Gonna, what? Nah, that's magical. Bill, Bill I can't believe that, that happened. No he way. He won that hailstorm attempt. No okay. shot. Bill got the bonus. Got Gotta get, look at Sylock. Look at no. Sylock's gone. It's off to G-Con. Their, their commentary is delayed, too. Their commentary is late. So it's like not hype because their commentary is so late. Storm now. Is it still doable? Bill's still in is there? Is it? All right. If this storm comes back, this is a hype moment. But I don't think this storm is coming back. I don't it's know if it's doable. He needs one more meter, <laughs> one more chip damage. He's gonna mash for his life. I guarantee it. There it is. Right here. Speaking of which. Yeah. So, it's not, dude, it wasn't a hype. None of these moments are hype at all. This is like a standard Marvel two tournament that I've seen five thousand times back in my day. You know. Oh, Nothing and there hype you here. have it, ladies and gentlemen. Team Three Zone. Bill Wellman is your Twitch rivals. Marvel versus Capcom fighting collection champion. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I think so. Let's see. Let's see if uh, Lazy Reaper can get the hit this though this time around. And uh, yes, kill him, guard break. Guard break. Yep, yes, perfect. Held block. Now you're gonna suffer. It's crazy how you die trying yep. to do the right thing. Whoa! That was sick. He has ass buttons coming down, so he is definitely open to a uh, cross up. So that was disgusting mix. Yeah. Didn't finish the job, but we'll take it. That was a sick mix right there. Oh my god, he could get infinite right infinite, here. Infinite, yep. Nice. That was not safe. Wow, Bill, infinite. That was so efficient. Look at the bars. Just do it. Go for it. And you get bars. Are you gonna the tables it, have are turned? You gonna the tables have turned. Wow. Went for a mix up but didn't that get was it. You had the bars. Not out of the mix up, yeah, but now you get to so chip like crazy. Right that Maybe was a good alpha counter game. That's the main thing. Stop. Kill the combat factor. I'm still waiting for an epic moment. There's nothing. Space for the hail. There it is. Nice punish. That was godlike. Oh, oh my god. Job. Oh my god. He's doing the oh variation god. on the infinite. Oh this is actually quite hard to do. What he did right there. All the way through, please. He can do short term side blade. Yeah, that's it. Kill Storm. Yeah, that's he now he's gonna kill Commando. Commando's gonna get guard broken here. He's got. No. Oh yep. Snap god. out. Snap. Sentinel. Yep. Infinite. Break. He's got it. Yep. He's got it. Oh, he was pressing buttons. Oh Why didn't he mash? Oh, he could have mashed out of that super and he Break didn't. His guard. Break Break his guard. He's done. Oh. Yep. Yeah. I gotta come. You're done. You're fucked. Oh my god, what a yeah. comeback. Holy crap. Magneto, that was good. That one right there was good. Everything else up to that was just just not good. But this that last match was good. Okay. Porch pirates are the lowest kind of criminals out there. Resort. I guess this will be our final video. Yeah, this will be our final video for the week, everybody. Into stealing packages more, more porch right off pirates. other people's doorsteps. But what happens when these criminals are caught in broad daylight and arrested by police officers? I'm going to tell you right here, right now. We found the most shocking examples of this, starting with one of the most satisfying criminal takedowns of all time. In May 2023, the fight against porch pirates was well underway, and delivery drivers had been made aware just how prevalent these criminals were across all of America. That's why this heroic driver took it upon himself to defend the property of this homeowner, and luckily for us, it was all caught on camera. Uh, trying to run. After catching the porch pirates taking the man's package, this driver chased him into a local resident's backyard, leapt over the fence, and with adrenaline running high, confronted him about the theft. Oh, 
kill that man next, because that's my dog, bro. I know, bro. Go kill that man next, bro. It was the girl. It turns out this isn't the guy with the package, hence the driver's demands to know where his partner is. But being trapped on camera with a good Samaritan wasn't where this thief's nightmare ended, as just seconds later, the property owner turned up and demanded he explain himself. Wow, he's gonna dress up? Holy shit. The driver threatens to call the police, which seems like more than the thief is willing to risk, and he gives up his accomplice's address. Not only is this driver trying to defend the homeowner, but he's also defending his own job, as he's got no idea if he'll be charged by his work for failing to deliver the package successfully. Evidently, though, this was a pretty amateur job as far as porch pirates go, so let's instead take a look at a more serious scam ran by possibly the most immature criminal you've ever seen. Oh, we saw this one. This is the one we already saw. This is from the Porch Pirates video we watched last week. Let's skip this one because we already saw it. She cries to her mommy and becomes a baby. Yeah. Okay. Most replayed. Here we go. Let's watch this one. To 16 years in prison. While Taylor was guilty, at least she tried to explain her actions without escalating the situation. But this next woman decided she'd try and make things as awkward as possible, despite being completely innocent. What? I'm gonna tase you. I'm gonna tase you right here, right now. An employee at a grocery store had called police saying they believed a woman had stolen a large amount of groceries. When the officer arrived, things got out of hand quickly, but for the last reason he expected. Do you want to sit in my car. No, I don't want to sit in your car, and that, I'm not sitting in your that, no, it's called your sergeant. No, it ain't. What it's you ain't seen me sell nothing. Then show me your receipt. I, I will not. Right. I don't all sell. They, I don't want, sell. I do want, not all sell. All they want to do is I don't not have you here. I don't sell. Then show me I, your receipt. I, I won't do that. Then show me your receipt. I won't do that. This is an infuriating piece of footage that becomes even worse when you know the full context behind it. When the Ugh. cop arrived, he politely let the woman know what she was accused of, to which she responded by saying she had a receipt, but for some strange reason, she's refusing to show it to the cop, leading to a heated argument that could reasonably be stopped at any moment. Do you realize you can go to jail for that? Oh, I realize well, if I stole it, but I don't steal You're not cooperating. I'm not cooperating because it, you ain't got no probable cause because they said something. Go watch the camera first. Ma'am. I walk back in there with you and go watch the camera. Hold no, I'm upset because I, don't, I, I don't have every day. I don't have access to the camera. So how they gonna say I stole it? They didn't see me steal. Ma'am, what is your name? No, that, that, Calm I down. see this every day. Listen to me. Every day. Do you think, I, any, do you, do you no think I want any trouble right but now? But do you know how many people don't walk in that stuff while you out here bothering me that they're stealing? Ma'am, they simply asked if you had a receipt. They didn't see you go through a register. That's well, why don't all. they go through all the registers and ask the people if they see me? Ma'am. Let's come on, let's walk back in there. Where's your receipt? Come on, let's walk back, let's walk back in there. Bring your receipt. Let's walk back in there. Do you have your receipt? Let's walk, back, let's walk back in there. Just show me your no, receipt. No, no, because that's, no, I'm not going to do I'm that. not letting not you go bad. back in the store. Okay, then, Is that your receipt you from today? I, I swear, sure. I swear to God, what's happened in this country is people have been conditioned to now not want to comply at all because they don't trust law enforcement, right? Like, they've literally been conditioned. The cops are the enemy. They're never on your side. They're not looking to do what's right. They just want to screw you over. So, in this case, she's like conditioned. She's like, even though I could hand my receipt and prove my innocence, how dare someone even accuse me of anything wrong? And I know this cop is a scumbag, so I'm never going to give him my receipt. When all she has to do is show the receipt, and in two seconds, it's over. But this country has a big culture problem. Where we have, for the last four plus years, we've taught a generation of people that law enforcement is completely and utterly evil. That's not true. Listen, I know that there's some law enforcement that's bad, that there's some bad apples, that there's been things or awful things that have happened that never should have happened. At the same time, not every cop is a vicious, you know, evil intended person who just wants to falsely accuse everyone around them, abuse their power, put everyone in jail for no reason. You know what I mean? In, in reality, most cops are just trying to do their job. That's it. 
It's just a job. That's it. So this guy's job is to prove this woman's innocence or to see if she's guilty of a crime. And if that's the case, to apprehend her and take her to the station, right? Like, that's what he has to do. If she won't provide the evidence of her innocence, what is he supposed to do? Oh, well, you know, this happen I see this happen every day. You see it happen every day, you're falsely accused of something, and you have evidence right there, and you don't provide it? Like, like to me, I get it. If Maybe this woman has been falsely accused a bunch, right? And that's fucked. It is. But at the same time, then you should have been through this already and know how easy this is to just remedy, right? I get, like, I understand why some people would be upset with the way that things have gone in the United States with law enforcement at some times, but it's not every fucking person. Like, literally, it's not every cop. So why would you act like that? Because all you do is you exacerbate the situation. You make it worse. You make it worse for yourself and the cop. Doing what she's doing helps absolutely nothing. She's literally saying, I'll do everything but the one thing that will prove my innocence. Why? Oh, because then you have your way. Because you know why? Because then I listen to authority and I, I, you know, bow down to the authority of the person. Yes, the cop has authority over you. They do. They do. Right now, a cop could be outside my house and say, Mr. Burnell, come outside with your hands up and I have to comply. If I don't comply, they can bust my fucking door down and apprehend me if they think something's going on in here. Do you understand? Like, that's the country we live in. That's actually the way it works. There's nothing we can really do about it unless you, if you don't like it, you have to leave and go somewhere else. Like, that's how law enforcement is. If there's an accusation of a crime, they have to investigate. They have to figure it out. That happened to me. Nine years ago, I was swatted. And someone said that there was murders happening in this home. And I had to leave. I had to go outside with my hands up. What else am I supposed to fucking do? You know, I get that. If a cop pulls me over, right? I have to pull over. I have to stop. I can't ignore that the cop's behind me with his lights on telling me to pull over. I have to pull over. Or else that's a crime. That's evade, evading arrest, right? Like, you can't do this shit. I just don't, I don't get it. But I, the thing is, I do get it. The thing is, there's no rationale or logic behind the behavior. It's fear and it's, it's par paranoia and it's a culture that people have been taught that cops are evil and it's not true. It's fucked. Because I ain't got no reason. Y'all don't can't make me show nothing. While the officer See? physically has no way to force her to show any evidence, he does have the ability to search her if he suspects her of a crime. However, he decides not to at this moment, but instead of calming her down, she starts to get even more riled up and now begins to accuse him of racially profiling yeah, her. See, what? Why are we arguing about this? Because y'all profile black people every day like They're, that. Everybody that shops in here is mm -mm. black. Mm -mm. Everybody that shops in here is black. No, everybody ain't. Uh, well, most of them are. They is. I can pro we can profile anybody. I see. I see. Thank you, Legend Lurker, who just became a subscriber on Kick. Thank you very much, Legend Lurker. I appreciate that. Y'all up here every day bothering people. I don't bother anybody. Whoever. Can you just show me your receipt? No, I'm not going to do that. If they sent you out here, that, that means they saw me steal. They didn't see you go okay, through a register. Then, so and pay. why not do that? Protocol okay. is Step out of the car. to go look on the camera. Step out of the car. Step what? out of the car and come with me. Out no car. Then you're gonna go to jail. But well, then you're gonna have to take me to jail. Okay, step out of the car. I'm not stepping out no car. Okay. You got kid you all these kids in here, you left in here by yourself. Do you want me to push this further? Well you went in the store? They they're not little kids. Oh, they are little kids. And you left them all in the store. And what are you gonna do when you go to jail and they're all here? So I call DCF to come get them all? My mama stay right around the corner. Okay, so I don't have to call your mom to come get them. I can call what DCF. You, what you they my sister's kids. They, they'll call her to come get her. <laughs> That's great. Well, they're my sister's kids. I don't care. <laughs> they're my sister's kids. I don't give a shit. Why don't you show me your receipt? Publix and everybody in there. Remember, there's multiple kids in the car with her too, and she's still deciding to act in this manner. After acknowledging them, you'd think she might start to control herself a little bit, but instead, she decides to escalate things even further. Step out of the car. You have to step out of the car. No, you have to call your sergeant or your I, lieutenant. Come on. No. You're going. No. You're going to go to jail. No, I'm not. You're no, going to go not. to jail. No, I'm yes, not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Then give me your receipt. I'm not giving you my receipt. Come on. No, I'm you're not. Going to jail. No, I'm not. You're going to jail. No, I'm not. You're going no, to jail. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. You are going to jail. No, I'm not. I'll tell you what did you think was going to happen. No, you're going to jail. All right, I give up. See you later. He's just going to leave, right? Oh, I give up. Jail. No, I'm not. I'm going to tase you right here, right now. I'm going to tase you right now. Tase me. Get out of the car. Tase me. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. You're under arrest. You're under arrest. I'm under arrest for what? Get out of the car. I'm under arrest for 
what? Turn around. Call your mom. Turn around right Call, now. What Turn I around. Know that for? Turn around right now for not cooperating. Cooperating. Turn around. I didn't steal. And that's also a crime. If you don't cooperate with a police officer, that's a crime. So even if you didn't steal, you did commit a crime by not cooperating with the investigation. And now you're going to go to jail for that instead. So what was the fucking point? So you were innocent. But the fact that you hate cops because there's some weird culture war going on in our country that cops are evil, right? So now you disobeyed the law by disobeying the cop. And now you're going to jail anyway for no fucking reason because you're an idiot. Taking you right now. Get down on the ground. Get down on the ground right now. Get down on the ground. Put your hand behind your back right now. Right now. Give me your other hand. Even if the woman wasn't suspected of any crimes at all, she was still refusing to follow the officer's orders and batting his hands back. It probably yeah. wasn't the best decision by the cop, but under the circumstances, it's at least understandable. But even after she's been handcuffed on the ground, the woman continues to scream and shout about everything. I didn't steal nothing. It is. Don't care anymore. Like, literally don't care anymore. You, you, you disobeyed the cop. That's a crime. So now you're going to jail for that. Doesn't even matter if you stole. It's fine. My dad worked on the police department. Oh, that's really nice. I got Go away, ma'am. Go away. Can you record? Idiot. Keep oh, yeah. Recording, ma'am. Stand up. I think you're going to jail. <laughs> hey, guys. Just stay there, okay? I'll be with you in a second. You think I'm going to go and steal some chips? Walk to the car. Stop doing that to me. Walk like to the that. car. Cooperate. I am cooperating. Walk to the car. Can you call my family for me? Walk to the car. Y'all so stupid. I'm kidding. I'm NAAC. I guess I'll That's what you real. wanted. That's all you wanted. I guess so. So. I guess you gave me you what I we, wanted. Yeah. The woman was then taken to the police station and processed, but it was quickly discovered that she did actually have a receipt on her that proved she'd purchased everything she was accused of stealing. If she'd have just handed it over when she was initially asked, this entire thing would have been avoided. Instead, though, she decided to sue the grocery store for $50,000 in damages after the entire ordeal. But the case was dismissed with prejudice by of course a judge it was. just months later, meaning she'll never be able to to use this incident against the store or the cops ever again yeah because it's all all there the evidence is right there she broke the law unreal all right everybody that's it for dsp versus the internet this week i hope that you enjoyed the show the way the show works is if you become an ultra member of this channel dsp uh reacts on youtube you can submit clips and we're guaranteed to watch them every week or if you become a submissions tier we watch the random playlist like we just did so if you want to be part of next week's show, since you've seen it now, maybe you like it. A lot of new people saw it this week because of Kick. Uh, consider becoming a member here on DSP Reacts, which is at DSP Reacts on YouTube. Just an FYI, starting next week, this show will air on Mondays, not Sundays, because my new day off is going to be uh, Saturday. And I don't want to come back from my day off and immediately be doing the React day. I'd want to have a day of gameplay and normalcy. So this is going to be Mondays moving forward. I just want to let everyone know. All right, I'll be posting up about that on the channel as well so everyone is aware of the move to Mondays, all right? Thank you all. Great show, good variety this week. I enjoyed myself. I hope you guys did too. And I'll see you next week on DSP versus the Internet.